I think collaboration is a, is a very important factor um, moving forward um, on a number of different levels, not only in terms of, of our students, because we need to model um, what it looks like to be a good collaborator, but I also think collaboration can have a major impact uh, on the quality of teaching and education because we can be far more effective as teachers and as in a learning team as in individuals and we can also through collaboration learn an awful amount from each other and in that way um, the benefit will go through to our students as we uh, as we improve our practice. I think working collaboratively helps you to to break the workload down to make sure that you're on the same page as, as your other teaching partner. I've spent nearly all of my teaching career working in single cell and coming to Clarkville it's been, it's been quite different. It's been a, a bit of a challenge to, to get into that but it's been great just having someone else to, to bounce off, um, to have those constant conversations um, and it's just, just made life a lot easier as a, as a teacher actually in, in that collaboration. The thing that excites me about collaboration is that you're always bouncing off someone, whether it be a couple of teachers in the room or just one other teacher. You've always got a soundboard um, as well as the children. It's just a, a big hub of learning and excitement. I think that's great. Oh, there's so many benefits to working collaboratively, especially with junior school children. I work in a new, year one new entrant learning space with two other teachers. We're constantly learning from each other, we are um, sharing our strengths, we're sharing our passions, we're able to teach to our strengths and in that respect others can learn. We're able to have open professional conversations about each other's practice, we learn from each other and we've got other teachers to bounce ideas off. So if something's not going particularly well, instead of you sitting in a room on your own, racking your brains, thinking, what can I do? You've got other teachers to go to and they can say, oh, have you tried or have you thought about? And um, those are always really good ways to start professional conversations. The opportunity to work collaboratively, for me personally, has shown me where my strengths lie and where other people's strengths lie. It also gives me someone to bounce ideas off of and say, well, how did the, how, what do you think about this? It's also those times when you look across each other in the classroom and just go, that was a complete fail. And you, you're reflecting on it. There's, there's no, you know, nothing wrong with failure. It's just, you know, it, it happens to all of us. It's usually the walk to the staff room after a block or the five minutes that you can catch the other person and just say we're not doing that again it's not rushing down it's not it's just purely who you know just those incidental moments mm -hmm.